Well, this year, it's my honor. Uh, Lori isn't here, and uh, she's away on very important business. Otherwise, she would be doing this task. So in her stead, please let me begin to introduce our recipient for this year, Molly Dobson. Well, Molly Dobson's been selected by the United Way Women's United Group as the 2020 Woman of the Year. Mrs. Dobson was chosen by the Power of the Purse Committee for her exemplary leadership in the community and her lifetime accomplishments in community unification, in mentoring, and in philanthropy building. Molly is a U of M graduate and served during World War II as a Navy wave. Her interests have always been involved in improving the experiences of women, and she's worked with the Center of Education for Women funding scholarships and establishing long-lasting relationships with these scholars. Dobson is known for her work supporting the University of Michigan's Development Summer Internship Program, and she saw the need to train women in leadership skills way ahead of her time, and the program expanded from there with scholarship support and mentoring. She has been involved with numerous nonprofits and foundations in the area. She and her husband, William Dobson, have three children. She now has five grandchildren and 11 great-grandchildren. Now, how lucky are they? <laughs> Molly served on the United Way board in the late 60s and was an executive officer serving as the secretary in the early 70s. And she's been a member of the United Way of Washtenaw County's Tocqueville Society for decades. And those of you who don't know what that is, please see Susan Smith or myself after this, and we'll tell you such great secrets about it, and you can join too. But for now, please join me in welcoming to the stage a most wonderful person in our community, our Woman of the Year, Molly Dobson. Tell me if you can hear me, because I'm not used to all this notoriety. <laughs> I read better than I recite. Thank you, United Way of Washtenaw communi Community, for the prestigious honor and a warm welcome to all of you. It has been my privilege to be part of the UM, UW, both, family way back in the 50s. Their motto is still the same, give once for all. But today, there's a giant and truly significant focus on community equity. Their long-term and lofty goal is that your zip code will no longer determine your opportunities in life. In other words, to undo racism and concentrate on racial equity and justice for all. Viva la... <laughs> Viva, the, Viva la United Way of Washington County. In talking to you today, I'd like to discuss three happenings in my life that were truly impactful. Lesson number one occurred in 1944, the year I graduated from the University of Michigan. It was my 21st birthday, and my parents had stopped to buy my campus home on their way from church. Appropriately, my father asked me what I wanted, what I planned on doing after graduation. In no way was I prepared for that question, but my response was that I might like to be a stewardess. <laughs> Air transportation for the public was a novelty back in, that, in the 40s. My dad's immediate response, 
Do you think that's going, doing enough for your country? Mind you, our country was at war, serious war, in the Atlantic, in the Pacific. Within a week, I enlisted in the waves, was accepted shortly thereafter, and in the late summer of 1940, was off to Midshipman School, then located on the Smith College campus in Northampton, Massachusetts. Two months later, I was commissioned as an ensign following two more months of training in the communication school. I was off to the nation's capital to work in the code rooms of the Navy Department. Turning point number two happened in the early 50s. Our Dobson family of five were living in the Burns Park area. <clears throat> And I had volunteered to go door to door to do some soliciting for the March of Dimes. The first door I knocked on, after my pitch, my neighbor responded, my husband gives it the office. <laughs> the second door, more of the same. The third door, more of the same. I'd had it. Well. <laughs> Don't you have a purse? There, there's that word. <laughs> Don't you want to give? My neighbor looked a bit startled, but she did find her purse and did, did make a contribution with a warm smile on her face. I did a lot of thinking after that about women making their own gifts independently. Lesson number three was a huge eye-opener. In an effort to make our charitable gifts more meaningful, my husband had asked me to categorize them. The results, there was no rhyme or reason to our allocations. It was then I personally decided to focus my giving on education and gender equity, and I have honored that decision ever since. How, you ask? I have endowed two scholarships at the Mich at Michigan Center for the Education of Women Plus and provided funding in the athletic department to support women's scholarships. That's in behalf of my husband who is very athletic athletically inclined. <laughs> I can't, but it was, but it had to be women's scholarships. <laughs> I can't wrap this up without giving credit to Dr. William Hilligans, our first Presbyterian church preacher way back when. He had been diagnosed with prostate cancer and was in the midst of radiation treatments. The theme of his sermon, live until you die. I second the motion. Live until you die. If you stay here one minute, we have some other questions. Yeah. Nope. Not Steve. Nope. Stay right there, though. Before Molly leaves the stage, you're going to be a super helper. If you would stay right there by her, that would be great. Steve Dobson, Molly's son, everybody, give him a round of applause. So before we let Molly go, we do have a few more awards and accommodations for her. This one is truly special. Congressman Debbie Dingell has had your name entered in the congressional record. Today, we celebrate Molly Dobson for her lifetime of service to her community, to her state, and to our nation. Her years of philanthropy have impacted the lives of many, and her continued dedication provide a lasting example of what we should all endeavor to accomplish, to affect change, to be compassionate community members, and do all we can to make a difference in this world. So here's the congressional record.
We also have a resolution from our Board of County Commissioners to recognize you for outstanding achievement and service. Because theirs was a little longer, I'm not going to read all of it. <laughs> but we do want to present you this resolution recognizing Molly Dobson for being named the 2020 United Way of Washtenaw County Power of the Purse Woman of the Year. But wait, there's more, just like on TV. All right, you guys have been really patient. I know you want to bid on some purses, but we have one more that we really are delighted to, represent, or to present, and we want to thank the University of Michigan for giving us this honor to do this. So this other recognition for you tonight, Molly, is from the University of Michigan for changing the lives of so many at Michigan and beyond. They have collected notes of appreciation from DSIP staff, alumni, employees across the University of the Michigan and broader community. So I don't know about you, 97 years young, an inspiration to us all. Please give one more round of applause to Molly Dobson. I think Molly truly is an inspiration, and I think she's also given us a charge to not only give back to the community, but to support multiple women's efforts in our community. So thank you, Molly, for once again for your leadership. <laughs> 